Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Uh, as y'all probably know, I've been out of town. Eddie and I was gone for almost a week uh, to Knoxville because I was on JTV, Jewelry TV, introducing some of my new jewelry. Oh, and Teresa. Those are this so is, cute. Oh, look. I mean, I love all the colors. Look. I know. You can tell it's getting to be spring and summer. Yes, yes, yes. So Eddie and I had a good time, but we were glad to get home. Today, I want to uh, share with y'all this recipe. It's from my Celebrates book. And uh, it's a chili chili cheese corn muffin. And it's going to be so good with that soup that I'm going to make tomorrow. So we're going to start with one and three-fourths a cup of uh, self-rising yellow cornmeal. Now, if you can find yellow, but it doesn't matter, white's fine too. So we've got one cup of flour. So we're just gonna blend those two together. And we've got two eggs. We've got a cup and a half of milk. Is that supposed to be a cup? Of, yeah, a cup and a half of milk about a half a cup of cheese, like a third of a cup or a fourth of a cup of sugar. Yeah, it's a fourth of a cup. And this is what's gonna make Michael Groover happy. <laughs> Fresh jalapenos. Those are actually poblano. Oh, these are poblano. I don't know what the difference is. Poblanos sure can, can be so hot too. Mm -hmm. Did you? taste your finger hey, after you cut them. I'm going to wash my hands like you always tell me to do. I know it. Yeah, I know. I cut it, seeded it. Well, it sure does look like a jalapeno, doesn't it? They do. They look exactly the same. So it does, just bigger. Yeah, it calls for a fourth of a cup of seeded and chopped poblano peppers. I want to taste that so bad, but I don't want to have to stand up here and drink a quart of milk either. Try <laughs> I'm trying to cool myself off. All right, so we've got our eggs. And y'all, our little chickens. I'm telling you, I want to, Eddie, I want to show them some of the eggs. Sunday. Look. Sunday we had six of them. Uh -huh. Look, look at the different sizes. I that's think, a bit. That's. I think, a jumbo. That's a big. Yes, I can't <sighs> wait to crack this to see if it has two yolks. But look, I think I think this one is Phyllis Diller's egg. But so she's a little, she's a little chicken, a little fancy one with her. <laughs> Petite. Yes, but I'm telling you what, uh, Teresa, you got to start taking you some eggs. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Uh, Oh, you need to save me your carton stuff. Yeah, I have a carton at home that I need to okay. bring over. All right, so in goes the eggs. I'll put the cheese. I'm going to put the sugar. This is just a kind of a dump and store and stir. That's and three quarters of a cup of butter, just so you know. Okay. So it's sticking a half. Yeah. Let's see, here we go. In goes the melted butter. I'm going to stir those up a little bit, and then I'm going to start adding my milk. And this is supposed to make 18 uh, corn muffins, y'all, so I sprayed my pans for 18. Uh, sometimes I can get pretty, pretty heavy with my, with my scoop, so I may not get 18. <laughs> not you. <laughs> You know, I like big stuff. I wonder why I would not have put chili powder in this recipe. You know, years and years later, you know, I can go back to my recipes and well, every recipe you and I'll change them. <laughs> I'll say, change them. Every recipe you've made, you've changed. <laughs> For the better, of course. Yeah, well, you know, I just like the options. Let's 
so there's no salt in here because uh, because there is salt in the self-rising cornmeal. But be safe. I'm going to still add just a little bit. But it's got that fourth of a cup of sugar in it. So just a little salt to kind of balance that. Isn't that a pretty batter? Okay, so I, I like using an ice cream scoop, y'all. Because it's important that they all be the same size. You know, muffins are like cookies. You don't want to make them all different sizes. You want them to be able to, you know, cook at the same time, get done at the same time. And not have to have burnt ones or raw ones. Y'all, I got 18. And the very last one is actually a little heavier. Um, because I was wanting to make sure that I could get 18. So last got the jelly glass. All right, so these are going in the oven. Do you want me to put some water in here? No, I... Yes, yes, please. Do you want to tell yeah. why you put water? Yeah. Uh, I'll take the measuring cups are gone. Yeah. Uh, Y'all, if I'm, if I'm, uh, don't have a full tray, I always put a little water in there so I don't want my pans to just burn, you know? So just a little water, and they'll they'll think that they're cooking something. All right, here are chili cheese uh, corn muffins, and I've already started in y'all. I couldn't help it. I took a bite, and they were hot straight out of the oven. And they're so good, so so good with any kind of soup. Any kind of soup. What else would they be good with? Uh, chili. Mm -hmm, they'd be real good with chili. Any soup. Yes, any soup. Mm. They'd be good with any meal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It says that. Um, I'm not getting any heat from the poblano. You're not? Mm -mm. Can you taste the book? Can you taste the pepper at all? No, that poblano was not hot. No, I so that's good. So if you're looking for heat, you might, might want to switch from poblano to jalapenos. Just a thought. Or add some red chili flakes to it. But they're delicious. Children would love these too, since they're not hot. Mm. So, like I said, take these recipes and make them your own. Make them your own. Put whatever you want to in it. So until next time, y'all, send you love and best wishes. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.